Hello and welcome to the Quincy Access Television Studios. I'm Mark Crosby. Thank you for joining us for In the Know, a program that looks at various information that we feel should be shared uh, with you as residents in the city of Quincy. Joining me today to my immediate left is Christine Cugini and next to her is George Bouchard. We are here. Hello both. Hello. Hello. How you doing, Mark? Thanks Great. for having us. Yes. Great to have you. We are here today to talk about an, initi an initiative, uh, a countrywide program called Wreaths Across America. This uh, you might know from last year, Quincy uh, participated for the first time last year and we laid down collectively wreaths at uh, veterans' uh, grave sites at the headstones. I believe uh, 3,200 wreaths were laid down at uh, Mount Wollaston Cemetery. So welcome back to both of you. Thank you. Because we're here to do it again and we to are. do it even bigger this time. Mm -hmm. So uh, Christine, we should mention, of course, that you are the uh, coordinator for wreaths across America. I am and honored. And if you could, just, um, you're a veteran, and you I both are veteran. veterans. Talk about uh, your background with the um, service. Uh, I'm a Navy veteran. I was in during uh, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. So I was away from my family for 10 months uh, on a Navy ship um, off the coast of uh, Saudi Arabia for a little while. Um, and I uh, did some reserve time. And... Uh, Helping veterans, supporting veterans, acknowledging their service is um, a passion of mine. We talked, uh, thank you for your service, and George, we'll get to you in just a moment, but we talked about, um, I talked about my son, who's now uh, 15, and when he sees a veteran, my father-in-law is a veteran of Vietnam, uh, he goes up to a veteran and thanks the veteran for their service. I think he realizes what a sacrifice it is to serve the country. It's, it's a great honor to serve your country, but it is a sacrifice. It is. Um, the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. George, uh, your service. 82 to 86, United States Army, and also some reserve time also. Yep. It's been a pleasure being a, a veteran. Well, thank you me. again yeah, to thanks. you both. Let's talk about wreaths across America. How did you uh, find out about this? We'll go back uh, to sure. before uh, Quincy actually became involved last year. Uh, in 2017, I uh, contacted, well, there was a Facebook post from an organization who was asking um, why you would be a good person to represent them in wreaths across America going to Washington, D.C. at Arlington National Cemetery. So. I wrote my little uh, reason why I thought I would be the person, um, and I was chosen. I went in 2017 and laid wreaths um, at Arlington, and <coughs> immediately that day when I came back to my hotel room, I researched how to do this because I thought uh, most definitely Quincy would be the um, best place, and uh, we would, with open arms, accept it and, and work towards um, laying wreaths for all of our veterans. And in just a moment, we will have uh, see some footage uh, that actually has, uh, I'd like my director to run the audio to it as well, because as these wreaths are being laid down on the, at the front of, their, of the stone, uh, there, is, there are some spoken words. We, we actually ask that people Jeez, say yeah, the veteran's it. name aloud um, and thank them for their service. Folks are now witnessing what you just spoke of. Joseph P. Harrington. Thank you. Bates. Yeah, that brings back some good memories. Yeah. Like good yeah. memories. Yeah. So, again, we, we saw footage of Mount Wollaston Cemetery. This year, we mentioned, you mentioned, that every cemetery in the city of Quincy is going to be a spot for a wreath to be laid. Sure. So, 
Last year when we started this program, uh, Christine and myself were discussing, you know, do we do them all? We do Mount Wollaston. Uh, and there were some people, you know, a little adamant about not, us not doing all of the, the city. So we wanted to try Mount Wollaston first to see if it would work, if the people were out there that would donate and make sure we can fill the cemetery. And it was overwhelming. 300 people show up to Blay the Reese. Um, the donations were great. We, we maxed out on that. And uh, so we decided to uh, go forward and do the entire city. So we're going from 3,200 to 7,300 um, to the seven cemeteries in the city. And you need funding to do so. Absolutely. And this Absolutely. is the right person for it. <laughs> she does a wonderful job of what she does out there fundraising. Um, it's, it's $15 a wreath. Uh, through the fundraising um, efforts, we're able to do a three for two. So each wreath ultimately is only $10 mm -hmm. um, as long as we are entering in the um, the donations the right way, so we have um, you can contact me through. Um, I think you'll be able to share my contact information, um, and also um, uh, the Veterans Service Office. Yeah, we we've been receiving checks through our office. Um, some people are, you know don't want to go online and do it all, so they drop the checks off. I consolidate all the checks. I let Christine know what I ha know, you know, let her know what I have, and she comes by, and she goes online herself and does it the correct way. So let's actually, if we could, um, talking to my director, bring up the uh, information to get in mm -hmm. touch with uh, both you, Christine, and the mm -hmm. uh, Department of Veterans Services correct. Correct. in yeah. the city. So the uh, Department of Veterans Services is 617-376-1194. There it is, right up on at the bottom of the screen for folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, Christine, there is also a Gmail, an email account for you. That would be Christine Cugini, number one, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there it is. Uh, oh, we, oh, we need the one. So that's, that's my mistake. Chris, if you could um, just add the one to that. Um, after and the I'll, I. Yeah. And after the I. That slipped by me. It's OK. Uh, so. Again, fifteen dollars. You have the per for an individual wreath, but um, if you buy three, you get the price for two. Two yeah. or three, right? Is it two? Buy two, get, get the third one free. Is that yes. What it is? Yes. Buy two. Buy two. Buy two, get the third one free. Free. Correct. And then it, how it works is uh, when you go up one, it ultimately ends up being just ten dollars a wreath. So um, if you were to donate $40 and we donated it that way um, through the fundraising group, it would be four wreaths. You know, it's not in increments of two. It's for everyone after that. Okay. And there is also another avenue to uh, talk or to get to reach the program, and that is through Facebook. Facebook, yes. Uh, I am out there friend requesting everybody. <laughs> Um, just so that we can get the information out there to um, the Quincy residents and even um, towns and cities that are close by that um, might want to be involved. So it's Quincy Wreaths Across America, um, Facebook. Uh, just look on, follow us. You'll get uh, up-to-date information as far as um, who's donating. Um, I like to thank the businesses that um, make the donations on Facebook. Um, I can't do individual donations, but um, definitely the businesses. And um, I also say where we're at with fundraising um, uh, and what's going on and how we're moving forward. Uh, I also give the information regarding um, the day of the ceremony um, and, and basic, yeah. just the basic information. And if there's anybody out there that, that has any ideas of doing some fundraising activities, like we had two young ladies in City Hall who ran a scratch ticket board, uh, Lisa Curtin and uh, Linda Bowes, and they raised over $6,600 and donated it to us. So stuff like that, if you have any ideas out there that you might have a fundraiser, uh, we're more than welcome to take it. That's a good point. Uh, yeah. Linda was actually here during oh, sure. our okay. open house, and uh, she, set up, yeah, she yeah. set up a table, and uh, that was um, that was. 
a help. So yes, it certainly was. We certainly yes. Yes. And certainly what a surprise when, when you think of it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. For exactly. uh, the cost and then, you know, the return of it. Yes. So, um, and fundraising ultimately is year round. We don't, sure. we don't stop or start, you know, from the day after the ceremony we're thinking of next year. So unfortunately, these next two weeks are probably the only time people think about it on Veterans Day coming up, you know, so that's our busiest time to get the donations. They don't think about it in August or July like we do. Right, right. right. And let's talk, if someone is going to donate a wreath, buy a wreath for a veteran, do they, can they make the donation in someone's name? You can, you can do um, in honor of or in memory of, um, and we have those forms as well. And you just uh, fill out the information and we're also doing the uh, grave specific this year as well. Mm -hmm. So if you have um, a family member or a loved one at one of the cemeteries and you want to place that wreath, you absolutely, um, there's a, uh, donation form and connected to that is a grave specific form so you just fill out that information as well great mm -hmm. so you don't have to but if you want to make it specific you yes. can yes. absolutely you talked about uh, we're recording this program on November 4th the day of the actual ceremony is December 14th yes so talk about obviously we want to <coughs> in the short uh, span of, of time we want to reach our goal we do we're uh, currently at about 27 percent to goal and that's covering the 7300 veterans um, across seven cemeteries in the city of Quincy we um, I will I believe we'll hit it um, Quincy it, certainly knows just, how to honor its veterans they it's really one, do one um, thing the city does very well yes they're yes. very much a strong um veteran um, absolutely uh the city and rightfully so yes yes the city of quincy is uh, very strong when it comes to veterans for sure so uh she had mentioned uh, you know i had mentioned earlier about the coming up with ideas uh, christine come up with a great idea mm -hmm. this coming saturday she's having a fundraiser at the morissette american legion post for anyone that wants to come in and donate and uh, all kinds of prizes and everything. So yep. Yep. we're hoping that goes over well. So if you're not doing nothing on Saturday night, come by the Morissette Post. I think it's 7 to 11. Is that 7, to 11. 7 to 11. We'll have, uh, we have a DJ, so we'll have some music <laughs> and uh, great raffle prizes. Um, we have a 50-50, uh, $20 um, admission into the event, into yep. the fundraiser. And that $20 for every person that comes through the door is two wreaths. Yep. So um, think of it that way. Yep. It's, it, there's a lot of graves to take care of this year. So we need all the help we can get for sure. And I, so certainly if folks can attend, attend that fundraiser. Yeah. What you had mentioned earlier, Christine, is if they had, if anyone has their own idea to fundraise, certainly get in touch with you. Uh, through email, I would imagine. Email, and I can um, email, and George, you can get in Call touch me. with George, and George will always, you know, forward any information. Mm -hmm. I can, um, I can also give you um, my cell number for anybody to contact. But Facebook, um, I'm very uh, much active on Facebook. Um, Reese across America, I think um, it's a growing uh, group, and we have, I think close to maybe 1,600 um, friends on there. So uh, we need more and, you know, just well, get the word out. Countrywide, the participating locations has grown, which is certainly a great thing. Mm -hmm. Anytime any uh, initiative keeps on advancing, that's good. Yeah. And it does. So I believe last year they were um, at just over 1,400, mm -hmm. and uh, this year they're at um, over 1,600. They also went to uh, Normandy last year and again this year. So um, it's a growing um, effort across, across our country, and it's beautiful to see. And I just want Quincy to uh, 
to really, you know, open. Well, well it was emotional. To it. Just watching it's, that. It's very emotional. That uh, roll in that we had, and I was there that day, and it was just emotional being there, and and seeing folks lay these wreaths. Especially, down. especially the little kids and the youth of the nation need to understand what this is all about. So, it's not just a grave; it's it's a hero's grave. Exactly. Yeah, right. So. So talk about uh, we need funds for the wreaths. We do. But we also need volunteers to we lay the wreaths absolutely. down. Absolutely. Last year, the uh, amount of volunteers we got, over 300 people showed, and it was amazing. This year, we have over twice as many um, wreaths to lay um, across. We're going to concentrate on the two larger cemeteries, uh, Mount Wollaston and Pine Hills. In each um, cemetery, we'll have a lead organizer there that will kind of help um, spread the volunteers out uh, sure. when they show up. Yep. So um, Mount Wollaston, where Christine and a few other individuals will take place, um, the, we're hoping to get a lot because that's a big cemetery that holds a lot. Pine Hill is about 2,000, 2,100 um, over there. I'm going to be over there with a number of individuals. How many? I'm not sure. Um, we do have other people designated for the other five cemeteries. Uh, one particular person will coordinate over there. They're smaller ones, so they'll be done quick. And I'm saying what I told them is just go to Mount Wollaston after you're done if you can and help them out as best I can. So, yeah. And if I, I think you and I were talking about um, organizations, community groups that can take on Absolutely. a cemetery. Absolutely. So um, I believe George has um, organized a, a few. We have the Boy Scout, Girl Scouts, uh, the Junior ROTC, with all 180 of them are coming this year. But we didn't have them last year because they had a drill competition, so they modified their schedule to be with us this year. So there's 180 kids right there. Um, the Sea Cadets is another one. So there's quite a bit of youth participation this year, and that, that's good. I mean, I, just seeing that kid lay that, you know, yeah. that the little yeah. and salute uh, the soldier is uh, that's what you want to see. Yeah. You know? uh, so December 14th, the day that um, the wreath laying takes place, talk about what happens on that day. So the ceremony uh, will begin around 11, 15, 11, 30. Um, we'll have some speakers. We'll have all the branches, um, uh, military branches, uh, people. And um, hopefully we'll have um, a keynote speaker. We haven't figured out who that is yet, but we have plenty of time for that. And then once the ceremony is over, uh, we'll begin laying the wreaths. And that's usually around noon time. And let's talk about the length of time the wreaths remain in place. So last year we took it out exactly four weeks later, which is the norm, I believe, to the, to the, to the country. This year we wanted to extend it a couple of more weeks and go into the end of January. Because they're so beautiful out there, there's no sense in taking them out and throwing them away. So uh, Christine had brought it up, why don't we leave them out there a little bit longer? Why not? Why not? As long as the weather is okay. And when the snow starts falling on them, I'm sure they look a lot more. They look pretty nice. Well, they, so, they, forecast, and, they forecast some snow coming uh, potentially this weekend. Yeah, I, I don't know. think it's going to happen. So I might add that on December 14th, it's rain, snow, or sunshine. Yes. Okay. We're doing it no matter what. Right, so, right. Um, well, if it snows, it can't be that bad. No. Uh, at, no. At this, this early on in the season. So, uh, exactly. And, right. and think of what the veterans have sacrificed they showed up the rain, country. snow. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's right. It didn't stop Heat. World War II. No. Right. You know, so uh, one of the things we did mention last year when it comes to the fundraising, um, if, if there's somebody out there that's so close to Christmas, if you're out there and you want to buy a gift for someone but you can't think of something, put it on somebody's honor. Send a little note to the family. I think that's great. I did that last year. So I think you should all do it. We need to, we need to get the fundraising out there. Absolutely, and, and well said. Mm. Uh, so the day, the last day that the wreaths are on the, uh, the grave sites, mm -hmm. there's volunteers that are needed that day as well. Absolutely. We had um, a great turnout for um, removing, so retiring the wreaths, and that'll be on January 25th. It's a Saturday. We'll probably begin around 
9, 9 or 10 a.m., mm -hmm. and we were done by 1 o'clock, I think. Yeah, it was, it was pretty quick, and, and we might want to uh, give a shout-out to the cemetery guys. Absolutely. Scotty Logan and his crew uh, were there both days, especially the cleanup day with the trucks. There was people walking around with hockey sticks, getting all the reeds and just loading up the hockey stick and throwing it in the and truck, it and we were done quickly. So those guys at the cemetery department, kudos to you guys. I should mention that... Uh, just looking at uh, Mount Wollaston last year, after all the reeds had been laid, it's it's quite it's quite moving. It's moving. It was moving the day of uh, yeah. seeing uh, folks actually place the reeds, but then they're there for an extended period of time, and that's just a beautiful sight too. Yeah, it is. It is. It's so um, just driving by and seeing that site and knowing what it, you know, what it one what it took to do it. And then to know what it means for the veterans and, and the veterans that are here, but the veterans' families that, that see so many people come out and, and just support, honor, and remember these men and women mm -hmm. is so, so beautiful. And, and we don't want to stop doing this. The more we do it, the better we're going to get at it. Yes. So we don't want to stop this. So please come on there, reach out there and donate and help us out. Well, I do want to, to mention that we went last year from one cemetery to covering all. So oh. Quincy certainly knows how to <coughs> mm -hmm. knows how to go big. Yes, you yeah, know, exactly. And, and in this in this instance, an initiative that looks at all veterans buried in the city of Quincy, that's quite an undertaking. Yeah. It's 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 an honor. It it really speaks to you two for advancing it so to that point. Right. Now you got to realize now, starting this year, it's going from the Revolutionary War to the current day now. Right. Okay. So we're talking Hancock Cemetery, which has a lot of history in it. So um, last year was just Mount Wollaston. Now we're going all the way back to the Revolutionary War. Because so. all of our veterans deserve to That's be right. honored Certainly. and remembered, right. regardless right. of what war and conflict. Absolutely. We should mention that the mission of REITs across America is remember, honor, and teach. Teach. Teach, teach the youth. That's right. So it, it, um, I'm excited to know that so many youth organizations are involved. Yes, yes. That's one of the things we thought about, that we need to get them out there. And to, you know, they're the ones that get in touch with us after a while. When is this? When do you need help? Absolutely. So. We had uh, the Quincy um, hockey team. That's right. Yep. Uh, we had Braintree football mm -hmm. team show up. That's right. Um, we had the Boy Scouts, the girls. I, it's to see the children out there. It's just, a, it's, it's amazing. And you mentioned and Braintree. So I'm glad you mentioned outside because if, outside. if there's someone that's watching this that would like to, that lives outside the city, by all means. By uh, all means. We welcome you. We want you there. We do. Well, the thing is, not all cities and towns are doing this, but Quincy is. So we've got to reach out. Absolutely. As we uh, close, I do want to go over the information again, Christine, sure. for folks to be able to get in touch with you Absolutely. to donate uh, money for the REITs Absolutely. and to volunteer. Um, so my email address is christinecugini1 at gmail.com. Um, and then you can contact George in the Veterans Office, mm -hmm. and his number is 617-376-1194. Uh, um, if you want to drop a check off, you can drop it off to the Veterans Service Office, mm -hmm. which is at 24 High School Ave. Mm -hmm. um, or you could just email me, and I'll come by and pick it up. It's as easy as that. We don't... Um, we're trying to make this as easy as possible for everybody and, um, and just an easy, um, an easy go of our uh, large goal of the 7,300. I hope you get there. And I, I know, know we'll get I know there. you will. And I do want to um, congratulate you for last year's ceremony Thank because you. I was on hand. Quincy Access Television was there. Uh, very dignified, um, very, very moving. Mm -hmm. uh, so certainly look forward to doing that, being back there again this year for Quincy's second time. That's yes. great. Go Saturday, ahead. December 14th. Yes, December 14th. You get it. And the time? 11.15 a.m. 
Okay, you heard it, folks. <laughs> so December 14th, 11, 15, 15 a.m. Be down at uh, Mount Wollaston Mount Cemetery Wollaston. initially because that's where the ceremony will take place. Yes. And then from there, cemeteries throughout the city will then, um, veterans will receive a wreath on their stone. Correct. Absolutely, thank you. Well, thank Correct. you both for joining me. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. And uh, I will see you on the 14th. All right, Beautiful. great, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you at home for watching. You have been watching a program of Quincy Access Television. Please continue to watch QATV for more locally produced programming.